Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, so today we are starting a brand new series about SEO and this time specifically for uh, Shopify. So a lot of people use Shopify for their e-commerce platforms, blogs and uh, different purposes. So it is a really important uh, website builder. And today we are going to talk about the SEO for Shopify. So it's a series of uh, videos where you will learn about Shopify SEO from ground zero to the advanced level. So whether you are starting with the Shopify and wants to uh, optimize your website for SEO or you want to increase your traffic and want to optimize more, uh, you can uh, start from this point and I can also show you that you will learn new things during this uh, course. So I'm not gonna just give you uh, advices that are already available online. Uh, this is a structured course and you will definitely be able to uh, increase the traffic and increase your uh, you know, conversion on your Shopify website. So uh, without further delay, let's get started. So the first thing all Shopify users do is that they choose a template, a theme that suits their uh, purpose. And this is where the SEO starts as well. The moment you choose your theme, your template, that's where the SEO starts from. So we have to make sure that we choose the best theme for SEO optimization because if you start uh, ahead of other people it will be easier for you to uh, be ahead in the race throughout the game okay throughout the SEO game so how do we choose the best theme for our website let's talk about that so when you go to your uh, Shopify theme store or any external website like Envato um, you have to look for the first thing you should look for is the performance the accessibility the SEO okay so for that you can go to this website the page speed insights okay so this website allows you to analyze the uh, performance accessibility best practices and SEO of your theme okay so um, if you already have a well optimized uh, theme you don't have to do too much work later on when you are working on the SEO of your website all right so right now I have some data here for different themes from the Shopify store and the external websites. So this one right here is my personal favorite for now, okay? I have just tried like three, four themes. There uh, must be some better ones, some bad ones. But uh, based on my uh, analysis, this is the best theme I have found. So I have done its analysis here and you can see that it has a performance score of 66 on the mobile devices and I think it is 99 on desktop all right so that basically means is that when Google uh, crawls your website it will absolutely love your page for the desktop devices and it will uh, still like your website for the uh, mobile devices the reason why I'm saying that this is a great uh, theme is because not only it is optimized for the SEO it also has great conversion tools like if you go away from the uh, you know tab if your users your buyers goes away from the tab it shows them a message and calls them back you know to the website gains their attention um, it has the search bar here all the categories here and so on okay so it is a great theme for conversion as well as SEO so whoever designed this theme here knew what uh, the users need all right so this is a great theme or any similar theme that has this kind of you know purpose this kind of design then I have this theme right here habitat and if you look at its uh, performance score it has 50 on uh, mobile and 93 on desktop okay so this one which has the performance score of 66 is uh, definitely better than the uh, this one the habitat one all right now I have another theme here this one is from Innovato Elements and it has a 94 score on the mobile and 97 on the desktop okay so this is clearly better than both of them however I should also look for the uh, conversion okay because uh, one of the goals we have is not only to get found on uh, Google but also to sell products okay so uh, we have to make sure that users are enjoying our website the looks of our website and uh, can interact better they can find whatever they want so this theme has all the elements 
Okay, it is not bad for SEO, definitely not bad for desktop, but it is, uh, it is still good for the mobile devices. Okay, so uh, if I were to choose from these three themes, this one, this one, and this one, I will definitely go with this theme. Okay, so you have to see these, uh, you know, these analysis. You have to choose these themes, you know, um, then select a few of them and then uh, check their data, how good they are in terms of SEO. Now, let's talk about why we are doing this in the first place, why we are going through all this hassle to, you know, why can't we just go with this theme right here? So what happens is that when Google crawl your website, it assigns a crawl budget to each website, okay? So let's say your domain is xyz.com, then Google Search Console will assign like $10, $20 uh, a budget to your website because it takes money for Google as well to you know crawl your website, run the machine behind the scene. So the more um, heavyweight, the more data, the more code you have on your web page, the more it will take Google Crawler to render your page and you know read all the data, okay? And also, the less performance you have, the poor will be the user interaction. So Google sees these signal for the primary uh, ranking decisions. And that is why you should have the maximum performance and the maximum SEO score, maximum accessibility, and of course the best practices. Now we can fix the SEO accessibility and performance uh, for a few things, okay? But you have to decide the theme uh, that has the best score from the get-go. So when you decide the theme for your website, make sure to check these uh, parameters first, okay? The maximum performance for mobile and desktop, and of course the other three parameters as well. And apart from that, you have to see uh, which uh, website converts the more, okay? Which website has the best tool for uh, conversion? Which website can sell the most? All right, so even uh, if you have some uh, data here and there, like if you have, like the performance is a little bit low, you can still consider this theme, okay? Because this will help you sell more products. So yeah, um, I hope you learned something. In the next video, we're gonna talk about the on-page SEO for Shopify.